Yeah. All right, guys, um, welcome okay. back. So, it's another day at Instacart. Today, we are right. running a little behind. Um, uh, it is 123. Uh, yeah. Just took my first order. $18. Seven items, 1.3 miles. I'll take it. You get me in the system, let Instacart know, hey, Malik out there working. Get out there working. Save some orders. If they don't see me in the orders, I'm off. That's what I'm gonna do. Nah, I'm just playing. But anyway, let me go get this. I'm gonna knock it out real quick. I'll be back with y'all. That was one of the quickest drop-offs I've ever done, honestly. So $18, $18.55 is what we secured today. So, or secured with that order at least. Um, might go to Arby's and get some lunch. I saw they had a, like a Wagyu burger. Um, that sounds kind of good. I don't know if it's good there, but I guess it's worth a try. I don't really eat Arby's like that. You guys ever watch The Simpsons and where, uh, <laughs> I don't know, it was stupid, but the kids were around in a campfire and, uh, I don't know, they were. I'm so hungry I could eat at Arby's. Oh, oh my wow. gosh. You're so <laughs> I don't know, it was just funny. Anyway, all right, gonna go sit in the spot after I grab my food and I'll get back with you guys. All right, just like a twenty-one dollar for four miles. Uh, it was like forty items, though. Uh, that's a little bit much, but I'll okay. make it happen. Just because it's kind of slow, got here kind of late. Just trying to stay moving, and it's hot, so I'm trying to spend less time in the car, so I don't have to run the gas out plus drive with the gas. So be mindful of that. The more that you do, you're going into AC, or whatever. Your car is not just on running the AC. This it's getting hot. It's only gonna get hotter from here. It's only May 31st at, at the time of this recording. So anyway, gonna go knock this out real quick. It's not too far from me. The store is in and the drop off is of course four miles, not too bad. So I'm gonna go knock this out and then probably go get some lunch. So I'll get with you when I get done. So I was mistaken. This was the quickest order I ever did. Because they canceled. Legitimately got in there. I was shopping. I usually send my greeting text saying like, hey, well, this is Malik, whatever, yada, yada, yada. You know, all that shit to sweeten them up. And I didn't really look at it because it's usually like a response saying like, bro, this order literally just popped back up. That's crazy. This, okay, the order that just got canceled is popped back up on my screen. Like she said she could not get this order. Wow. Anyway, yeah, so it got canceled. I was shopping in and she said, hey, is there any way we can uh, reschedule because we have an um, emergency that just came up? So I'm like, oh, um, yeah, you need to contact Instacart, but I said I can try to on my end as well. So I did that and pretty much the lady said, like, we can reschedule with you for in two hours or five hours. So, yeah. And it just popped back on the screen. Somebody just accepted it, but they're probably gonna be met with the same situation. Um, I realized there's a lot of different times. A lot of different times it's like given to us versus what's given to the customer. Like I'm always usually early, which is something most of them like, but I guess in this situation, like you're shopping so early and like they might've been told 4.30 was when they were gonna receive their food. But with me, uh, they would have been having it at like 3.30 or three o'clock because it's only 2.25 right now. But anyway, yeah, they got canceled. That's the first time I ever dealt with that, having to cancel something. So they gave me the full batch pay, not the tip included, obviously, but I got the 740. So that was kind of disappointing because it's kind of slow. But anyway, it is what it is. Still got paid for doing, I can't say nothing because I was actually shopping a little bit before I read, like I said. And then I'm a good person. I went ahead and put the stuff back. So it is what it is. And it was my first time using the kiosk. So instead of waiting at the deli, I just went ahead and used the kiosk thing and had them make it. And they made it. It's like, dang, I did everything like right this time for like time's sake. But we all go through things. So this customer had an emergency. So, you know, we all go through it. So it is what it is. So hopefully I get another order. Because right now we're at $25.95, which is terrible. But anyway, I'm going to get back to listen, listening to some podcasts. And I might just go ahead and go get my lunch right now. Because, yeah. 
But anyway, I will talk to you guys in just a bit. I know I shouldn't have did this lunch. Got the crinkle fries and the new Wagyu burger from Arby's. I got a cousin that just eats raw onion. Like an apple. Like a whole onion like an apple. When he bites into it. It's gross. I thought this was going to be bigger than what it is. It's on a brioche bun. I like that. It's um, 10.24 for this. So. It's got a decent taste to it. Anyway, it's not an eating channel, so yeah. It's uh, just got a $36. It is currently $311. It's for $23 and 32 units at the same store that I just got canceled at. So um, let's go ahead and try to knock this out and get this to the customer. I forgot how many miles it was, though. I don't think it was many. I think it was like 3.6 miles or something like that. Not far. But anyway, let's go ahead and do this, and uh, hopefully we don't get canceled again. I am ready to make some money. <laughs> so, all right, I'll get back with you guys. Man, I'll tell you, today is not my day. So, <laughs> I forgot to scan the bounty um, paper towels, which I still delivered them to them because they got charged for it. Um, but now I look like a thief to the store. So, I was like, I hope they were watching them cameras, you know? I'm pretty sure they watch certain, like, Instacart workers because I know they Instacart workers are probably stealing, you know? doing things that shouldn't be happening you always got bad seeds but it's like damn but i'm in that store a lot though so like that's the first time they called me fucking up but i called instacart talked to them about it so i mean i reported it so that's just that anyway it was a good day for what it was it got here pretty late it's 4 14 right now so 72 dollars from like 12 30 to now not the greatest but not the worst either so Alright, I think that's about it. So I hope you did good today. Hope everything worked out for you. Hope you didn't have a order cancel on you. I hope you didn't actually forget to ring up something, which I'm sure happens all the time, especially at Aldi. Cause they be swoo, they be swiping them things. If it's a big order, they be do 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 I'm like, oh, was that twice? But you know, they just keep going. But I'm pretty sure I've missed some items before, but at least at Aldi it's on them trying to rush you know but like i said i hope you did well today hope you did better than what i did today and always stay positive leave all negativity outside don't let it accompany you inside your vessel it's just not worth it so inside your body i know some people don't like the way i talk but <laughs> it's just reality your consciousness you know you got this vessel that's just it so but anyway stay safe stay positive and have a great day